Hello, my name is Debbie Warren, and I'm the founder of Regional AIDS Interfaith Network, or RAIN. Based in the greater Charlotte area, RAIN's mission is to engage the community to transform lives and promote respect and dignity for all people touched by the HIV crisis through compassionate care, education, and leadership development. The Southern United States has been hit hard by the HIV epidemic. Eight of the 10 states with the highest rates of new HIV infections are located in the South, including North Carolina. We have a strong network of interfaith community partners who support individuals in frail health and provide prevention education. We proudly integrate the wisdom of people living with HIV AIDS in the planning and delivery of our services. Programs include a comprehensive case management program, outreach to minority and bilingual communities, and a specialized program reaching HIV-positive youth and young adults ages 13 to 24. Our dedicated staff members are called on to assist with a range of HIV-related situations, some of which are very challenging, such as the case of a 15-year-old boy living in foster care who learned the overwhelming news that his HIV test had come back positive. Shortly after his diagnosis, this young man experienced a severe low point in his life. Things began to turn around when he became active in our Empowering Positive Youth program. He attended every event and support group offered. He began to set goals. He enrolled in community college, moved into his first apartment, and came to rain every day after school to check in. He has since become a role model to the other group members. He motivates and encourages his HIV-positive peers to attend their medical appointments and take their medications. He's also learned how to use coping mechanisms. I'm so proud to work with staff members who care so deeply about people living with HIV. RAIN has been very successful in framing our community's dialogue about HIV AIDS. With your support, we can continue to replace judgment with understanding prejudice with compassion, and ignorance with knowledge. Thank you.